Final Origins Emblems completed. All four staffs, as you see right there. It's a combination of like five hours worth of work. And for emblems, that's a, that's a decent lot. So that, that screenshot right there is just pretty awesome, I thought. All of them combined. I finally got that wind staff done. It was actually pretty easy. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys. I found out a way on Origins on solo mode to get it. To make things harder, I call it hardcore mode. It's just like a secret difficulty. So basically, you go in a private match, and then you, you just make sure you're in private game, and then you set the game ranking to unranked. So that way, it's not ranked on leaderboards. And if you do those two things, then you go into the game, and there'll be some changes. So the doors will be expensive. They'll be more expensive like they are in co-op. And then also there will be more Panda sold at spawning every three rounds instead of every five rounds. It's still just one though. It's not all three ones like it was pre-patch. So the way that works is just that this is the co-op settings. So somebody could join your game anytime. That's the thing about it. So the game has to have all the co-op difficulty things. You know, just so that way you, you can't start a solo game and then there, and then somebody from your friends list joins and then all of a sudden you're getting solo panzers and co-op so that's why it's up uh, it makes it harder and I am back so here is some world record gameplay for COD 4 in the background over what I'm about to talk about and I said I'm back because I already talked about all of this but my stupid share factory editing stupid process deleted like six minutes worth of commentary so I'm doing it again so COD 4 and what I want to talk about now is God of War right on 252 right on the mark that's where exactly where I had it last time oh yeah God of War this game is freaking insane uh, if you haven't played this game yet on PlayStation 4 the exclusive it's definitely within the top five games of all time I'll say probably the only things that might possibly be better than it are like Last of Us Uncharted and to some extent Zombies. I don't know. I don't know if anything else is better than it though. So let me explain why. No spoilers. So basically, if you don't know anything about God of War, basically you are this beastie dude with a with like a hammer axe type of thing that freezes people. And then you have your son that, that travels with you. Your son has his bow and arrow. And then you just fight people. They're, they're not real people. They're like demons and stuff. But it is just epic. Like there's these epic boss fights and everything as well. At the end of like a bunch of encounters. But the, just the fighting itself. It's just so great because. There's just. In God of War. It nails the vibration of your controller so well. Like, whenever you do anything in a game, usually, like, if you fire a gun, your, your controller shakes a little bit, and, you know, your controller vibrates, like I am right now, or in some other game, your controller vibrates, it's always been the same. Usually, it's, it's just vibrates. There's no differentiation about it. It's just vibrating. But in God of War, there are, like, tons of different vibrations that you feel for your controller. That are, that are all according to the situation. Like if you hit people, you feel that. If you catch your axe, like if you throw your axe and then you like retrieve it the worst style, then you feel that. Like the vibrations are so varied, but they're so accurate to like what what 
what you're actually doing with your like and it is just so awesome because it, it gives the combat such a weighty feel to it like when you hit somebody it feels awesome whereas normal normally it's just like ah huh, well that guy's dead nope in this game it's like oh uh, uh. I didn't do that in the first time but oh well you just punch people all over the place and it's it's just freaking epic with the vibrations and I love that in God of War that I mean it, it would normally be like an above average maybe like a slightly better version of the Arkham games but that vibrations of the controller they just like if, if that in every in every other game pretty much you arguably you only have two senses your sight and your sound in God of War you got sight sound and feel 100% incorporated and it just elevates it on a on an immersive level beyond anything else I've ever played uh, another thing that I've got to re-record is Black Ops 4. I'm going to make this brief since Black Ops 4 is the least... We've had the least news for it, let's be straight. But what's going on is there's no campaign. It's been replaced with Battle Royale as far as we see so far through the leaks. And what are my thoughts on this? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't really like multiplayer Battle Royale that much. I'll probably play it for a little bit, but, you know... I can't lie, I'd probably play the, the campaign even less than I would Battle Royale. So I guess I'm alright with it. You know, even even though the Battle Royale is oversaturated right now and it might die, I feel like they made a good choice with it. So anyway, that's about the end of this part of the commentary. Now I'm going to go back to the original that didn't get cut off, and here it is. Yeah, but one more thing that I want to talk about in this part would be Spider-Man. And this is a cle let me just stop for a second. This is a cliche. I'm sorry if I'm sniffling a lot. I sound a little sick. It's just allergies. But that's that's like the ultimate YouTube video cliche. Somebody says they're sick. Sorry if they sound sick. I guarantee you, there, there's like a thousand of those videos out there. <laughs> I saw one earlier today. Uh, but anyway, Spider-Man. Not just is not just is Spider-Man debuting. Not just. Is he debuting in the MCU with the Infinite Warfare? I mean, the Infinity War movie. But he's also debuting in the new Spider-Man video game coming out in a couple months. I did one video on this with Watch Dogs 2 gameplay in the background a little while back. And that seemed to do alright, so I'll talk about it some more. So, what are my thoughts on it? It's So far it's looking awesome. Just the web swinging and the fighting. It, the two main things, you know, I'm not sure what they're going to do with boss fights Yeah, I definitely hope there's boss fights, because, you know, that's what makes the game. God of War has got some great boss fights in it. But what I have heard earlier today, this is April 27th, at the time I'm recording this, what I did hear is that the time of day change, that's actually going to come come to be a thing. So while you're while you're in free roam after you beat the game, you're gonna be able to just change the time of day to nighttime or sunset or middle of the day, and you can also change the weather to make it like raining and, and thunderstorming or just peaceful and calm. So that's gonna be awesome. Just whenever what I'm probably gonna do with it is just mimic whatever it is outside. So if like if I look outside my window and it's all stormy and it's like eight o'clock at night. I could put the same settings on Spider-Man, make it all rainy, it's uh, thunder all over the place. And then it's nighttime, and then you use web swing, and it's basically just a lot more immersive that way. And that's just going to feel awesome, because that's never been a Spider-Man game before. I mean, the closest thing we've had to it was Ultimate Spider-Man, where you could kind of switch the time of day. By switching between Venom and Spider-Man, uh, it would shift randomly. You can never do anything with the weather. It didn't even rain in those games, I don't think, besides maybe one little set piece at the beginning on the football field. But that's off topic. Let's get back into the, the, the Spider-Man game. So I said web swinging, and I said combat as well. The combat, there's a lot of dodging I noticed in it, and that builds up a meter, and then you can use a, a special you know, combination takedown. And that's awesome as well. That's, that's the exact sort of thing that doesn't got a war. A lot of dodging, and then you 
you could build up and you could press R3 and take down guys. And then also there's a uh, back to the MCU. They just announced the Iron Spider suit, which is coming to Spider-Man PS4 as a pre-order bonus, and that's going to be awesome as well. So we have uh, let's let's recap. We have Spider-Man 2 suit, Spider-Man PS4 suit, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, Iron Spider. Noir Spider and the sixth one being the Guitar Spider that I'm sure nobody wants. <laughs> Let's be honest here, nobody wants to be Guitar Spider Man. But uh, yeah, now we've got six confirmed suits, and I might have missed one, but we have six confirmed suits for the game, which is just awesome. Because we know that they're not even revealing like half of them, so there's got to be at least like 15 or 20 in total. And that's just going to be awesome, so you can switch between those if you're getting sick of one. Because I know that, you know, looking at the same suit over and over might, might be a, a bit of a drag eventually. But, for you know, for a little while, I'll be good. And that's about it for this part. I'm going to end it off right here. There's a couple more minutes left in this gameplay, and I'm not going to drag it out. I'm just going to, whenever I get some more topics to talk about I'm gonna put a part two up of this and I'll play through the rest of it then so until then peace out don't make no sense but I'll take it